And so let's switch to uh, Imaris and uh, to demonstrate how filament tracer works. First, I'm going to use these neuron demo images to show you how the auto pass algorithm can work on the tree like uh, branching structures. So you can see this is a neuron sample with uh, dendrite and the spines. And so if you want to calculate the length of these dendrites and uh, maybe the number of the spines, we can use filament tracers to, to get these results. Uh, if you just use a surface, you can also create the surface for these structures and get a volume uh, information and the intensity, but surface does not give you the, the lens information and also branch points. So this is where we should use a filament. So to add filaments, you just add from the shortcut icons here. Then we will go through this creation wizard as well. So here you can see we have two algorithms we can choose for the tree-like branches, we should use auto pass, auto pass algorithm. And if you are interested in the diameter of this dendrite, you can also check the calculate diameter of filaments from image. Let's go to next step. Here we should select the channels. So to be able to visualize it better, I want to change the color of this channel to red. So here I, we can choose the channel one. And we need to give Imaris two numbers. One, first one is the starting point. So starting point is where the trace uh, starts. So usually for this kind of branching uh, structure, neural structure, we should start from the, the body here. So you can go to slice and measure the size of this root here and dry root here, it's about 6.5. So we can give a slightly larger number here, for example, seven. And for the C points, as you can see the description here, we should enter the, the diameter around the dendrite ending, which is the, the thin, thinnest part. So for this image, maybe we should look at this kind of thin dendrites. We can measure the size about 0 0.3. Here. Okay, so I'm going to do 0 0.35 to see how it goes. So in the next step, you can see there is a sign uh, color uh, sphere around the uh, root of this uh, dendrite, which is the largest part. So according to the size we give Imaris in the previous step, Imaris will try to uh, place this called uh, starting point around at the structure on the image. And you can see this small uh, white color sphere along with the dendrite. This is where our uh, C points locate. And by adjusting this threshold, we can increase the sensitivity or decrease the sensitivity in order to, to let these C points correctly uh, placed along with the structures we want to detect. So how, what Imaris will do using this uh, auto pass structure is from the starting point, Imaris will start to link these C points, and uh, in the end, Imaris will link all these C points along with the dendrite and uh, make a traced uh, structure. Okay, in this step, uh, as you can see, if you don't have this uh, obvious uh, starting point to trace, uh, usually we have to use either uh, threshold based algorithm because we don't have the, the clear starting points, or we can manually uh, place the starting points in this step or just using the semi-automatic tracing. So how to manually place the starting point or C points in this step is by changing the pointer to select mode and uh, 
hold the shift and the right click to add or remove the starting point. So for example, if you want to start from here, you can right click and add the starting point or shift to right click to remove again. Okay, so hold the shift and the right click to add or remove the starting points. Then to manually edit the C points, you can hold a shift and the left click to remove or add the C points. So just make sure there are the starting point, there is or are starting points uh, at the right location and there are C points along with the structure you want to trace. So for the C points, the important is to make sure there are C points uh, placed at the end of this stand drive. So Maris will be able to, to trace the structures like this. Okay, so here as I can see, maybe I can have a little larger size C points in order to remove these small ones to increase the accuracy of the tracing. So basically, as long as there, there are C points at the end of this uh, branching, branch structure, Imaros will be able to, to link to link it. There, it doesn't matter if there is some uh, gaps in between, actually. So just, okay, just adjust it a little bit. And you can see there is an option to remove C points around starting points. That is because uh, this large area, if we don't remove the C points near here, it may lead to uh, false tracing in the uh, branch, in how many uh, branches it has, because it may, it may start to, to lose the branching uh, tracing from here. So if you remove the C points around it, it will be able to trace this branch in a more accurate way. Okay, so go next. Okay, so in the next step, we will use this threshold region to decide the diameter, how to calculate the diameter of the the filaments because we checked the options to calculate diameter before. But I want to show you the trace results. So I just remove this threshold. So you can see the tracing is already done by linking the starting points with all the C points like this. Okay, so there might be some uh, error in the automatic detection, but we can correct it later. Okay, but basically the whole the, the tracing has been done. So here to calculate the diameter of the, the filament, we need to use this uh, threshold. This is like actually like a surface. So we need to use this threshold area to cover the standing of the uh, structure like this. And based on two algorithms, we can calculate the diameter of the filaments. So first is shortest distance from distance map. Basically, it will just use the, the center point of this tracing to the shortest distance between the center of this tracing to the edge of this area as the diameter. And another algorithm is uh, approximate circle of cross section area, which it will use the cross average of the cross section area as the uh, number to calculate the diameter. So here, maybe I will try first. Looks like this. Looks quite uh, decent. And uh, you can see another algorithm. There are some uh, difference. So depends on uh, which one uh, looks better for you or more uh, suitable for your applications then you can choose one of them. For these images, I feel like the first algorithm looks better, so I will just keep this algorithm. Okay, so then we have the uh, options to detect the spines as well in the same channel or different channels. So here, 
we choose the same channel and uh, you can see we have C points and the maximum lens we need to uh, enter. For the C points, it's basically the small spy head. So you can check on the image and try to find a small spy head to measure the size about 0 0.4. This is roughly the number. So I will just use it, maybe 0 0.4. And the maximum lens means the lens of the spice, the maximum lens of the spice. So we need to find a relative long spy and uh, measure the lens. So here, I go to slice view. So maybe this one. So this measurement is from the center of the dendrite to the head of the spine, like this, so 1.69. So maybe I'll go 1.8 or even two. So you can we can check the numbers in the next step. So you can see there are the blue uh, sphere placed along with the uh, spice, placed with along with along with the dendrite on the spice. So by adjusting this threshold, you can also remove or increase the detection. Sometimes, if your Z resolution is not good, you will see uh, some detection along the Z axis because this uh, noise or elongation are, are falsely uh, recognized as the uh, spice due to these uh, settings. Uh, in, th in that case, sometimes we can uh, increase by more correctly uh, calculate the diameter of these dendrites, we may be able to remove some of this false de detection by or cover this area with dendrites, so you won't, Mars won't detect this uh, as the uh, spines. But it will be the best if we can have a relative high resolution images or better image qualities, so in, especially in Z direction, so that uh, we will you know, reduce this uh, false de detection. Okay, so just make sure you have the C points at uh, each, most of the spines. For example, like this, maybe it's because our uh, number is slightly uh, small. So in this case, if you see a lot of duplicate, maybe it's good to increase slightly the detection numbers like this. So you, will, you won't have the duplicate, okay? So make sure most of the spines are detected. For the uh, small parts of the error, we may be able to correct it manually after the automatic tracing is finished. Right, so now the spine detection is finished also, and uh, we can calculate the diameter of the spines. Again, this is similar or same to the then, uh, filament diameters, dendrite diameter, so I will just go through it. Okay, so that is our uh, test result already. So here we have some different options to visualize our results. Maybe let me change the color first. Okay, let's change to uh, white color. So color tab as in the uh, spots and the surface and the cells. For the setting tab, we can change the, the styles. So you can either display this in line mode, so you can see just a single line, or a cylinder which doesn't give you the, the diameter, it just gives you this uh, 3D-like structure, and you can freely you know, give the diameter for your cylinders. And the cone is the only mode which can display the difference in the diameter. Okay, so if you want to display the difference in the diameters, you should use the cone display mode. And here we have the options to show uh, either the beginning point or branch point, 
as well as terminal point in different colors like this for the display visualization. And as well as for the spines, we have the options to display different uh, points, touch point, uh, branch point, terminal point as well. Okay, so second step, uh, second tab is the creation tab. You can redo, start redo from one of the steps. Okay, so we will talk about it later. And to manually edit the result, you can go to uh, edit and the draw tab. So we will uh, explain it a little bit after we introduce these uh, statistics. So here in the statistic, you can see we have the filament numbers, which means the what means the filament is all this uh, structure starting from one beginning point is considered as one uh, filament, and the the structures between segments between the branch points will be considered as the uh, dendrites, and for these small ones are the spines. So in the details, you can see we have the uh, this detail uh, list as well, including many different statistics. And these statistics are categorized into uh, different groups, including the dendrites and filaments and uh, spines. Okay, and uh, this is the points, points, just uh, the best basic unit of this detection. So here you can check there are many different uh, statistic. So if you want to measure the total length of these filaments, you can just go to the filament lens. So, so this is the total lens. Okay, and uh, we also have the uh, number of branch points, uh, terminal points, and uh, as well as the the branch depths, dendrite uh, branch depths, uh, filament branch depths, like this. So we have the these um, measurements you can check in the statistic. Okay, and the a filter tab is the same as in the other modules. You can use one of the statistics to filter out maybe the uh, shortest uh, dendrites or longest dendrites or the dendrites with the the most number of the spines, etc. So here in the edit mode, we can delete or do some uh, merge a split according to the uh, current result. So first I want to mention is this mouse select. You can see we have different mode. So if you choose to filaments, you will be able to select the whole filament. And if you choose the branch, you will select the branch starting from the latest branching point and the whole branch like this. And if you select the segments, it just gives you the segments between the branch points like this. So these are the different select mode. 